Welcome to Heritage Sash Window Specialists. This video will explain our draft proofing and restoration service from start to finish. Heritage Sash Window Specialists – Preserving Our Heritage On arrival, we protect your floors and furniture with dust sheets and covers. The staff beads are then carefully removed to avoid damage to the surrounding window frame. The sash cords are then cut and the bottom sash is removed. The parting beads are removed and also discarded. Once again, the sash cords are cut and the top sash is removed. Both sashes are then weighed and set aside. The frames are scraped and sanded to remove any excess paint buildup. The sash weights are removed from the boxes weighed and set aside for later use. After oiling the pulleys, new sash cord can now be inserted. The sash weights can now be replaced. If required, additional weights are added at this stage to correctly balance the sashes. The cords are tested to ensure the weights can move freely in the boxes. Where required, the frames are painted with primer and left to dry. To minimize dust in the property, both sashes are taken outside. We use a sharp razor blade to remove any excess paintwork on the glass. The sashes are then sanded to a smooth finish. The top sash top rail is routed out to take the draft proofing pile carrier. The pile carrier can now be inserted along the width of the top sash. Next, the bottom sash is routed along the width of the mid rail and the same pile carrier inserted. At this point, any loose or missing putty is replaced. Any cracked or broken panes of glass can also be replaced. Both top and bottom sashes are then painted with primer and left to dry. Once dried, a draft proofing weather pile strip is inserted into the top sash carrier. The top sash can now be rehung by attaching the new cords. The glass is now clean to remove any dust, fingerprints and putty marks. Draft proofing weather pile is inserted into the new parting beads.
The top parting bead is inserted into the center channel, with the weather pile facing to the outside to seal the top sash. The bottom parting bead is inserted into the center channel, with the pile facing inside to seal the bottom sash. External grade rainproof corking is applied to the parting beads. A draft proofing weather pile strip is inserted into the bottom sash mid rail carrier. Various sizes of pile are available. The correct size is chosen to provide the best seal. New staff beads are cut, ready for refitting. The bottom sash is then rehung using the same method as the top sash. After inserting weather pile, the staff beads can now be fitted. The beads are only half pinned at this stage in case any adjustments are required. Both sashes are then tested to ensure smooth opening and closing. Once the correct seal pressure is achieved, the pins can be nailed home. New fasteners are fitted and are available in a wide range of styles and finishes. A pair of sash lifters are fitted to complete the restoration. The dust sheets are removed and the area is thoroughly vacuumed. Heritage Sash Window Specialists, preserving our heritage. For more information or to arrange a survey, please visit www.heritagesashes.co.uk or send an email to info at heritagesashes.co.uk.